Denise, an update now to an I-Team investigation. It could be some very good news for the developers of the downtown Rise Doro apartments. As you remember, they were just ravaged by fire days before the first tenants were planning to move in. The city's structural engineers told owners that the parking garage appears to be structurally sound. Now, we learned the company is hiring a forensic engineer to analyze the concrete garage further and the podium, which is the base for the apartments, to see if they can be re used. Tarek Miner joins us now and Tarek, what did you see there today? Yeah, when we arrived at the Rise Doro today near that five story concrete parking garage, we saw a worker, likely an engineer, on the bottom floor of the garage in an enclosed glassed in area conducting some kind of work and it was evidence that the garage area is indeed structurally sound. But we've learned Rise officials are still waiting on the fire marshal's office's final report to determine the next steps. Activity both inside and outside of the Rise Doro's five-story parking garage more than a month after the multi-million dollar apartment complex caught fire in the middle of the night. As the Jacksonville-based company waits on the fire marshal's office to determine the cause, Jacksonville residents have their fingers crossed that portions of the building can be restored and reused. I think the concrete will be uh, salvageable. I'm sure that's the, I'm sure that's the thought. Chad Eben is in no way an engineer, but instead someone we bumped into as he was picking up his Gate River Run credentials. He's hoping the concrete garage and podium won't need to be demolished so the project can move along sooner than later. And hopefully we'll save time so we don't have a uh, um, construction site that's just, you know, wreckage. We have a, a nice a nice area for people to, to come down to this. The demolition process, which was slated to take eight to 10 weeks, started just days after the Rise Doro was considered a total loss. That emergency demolition was necessary to protect both the public and the nearby buildings. And you can see this is the building that was made with the wood frame. But if you take a look at the concrete garage, it looks like it's standing solid. According to our news partner, the Jack's Daily Record, Rise Doro owners are waiting on the fire marshal's report to determine how the water used to extinguish the fire affected the concrete structure. And according to Rise Doro's website, the city's structural engineers told owners that the parking garage appears to be sound. Locals say they are impressed with the large amounts of progress made in such a short amount of time. Looks like they're well on their way to getting uh, the old debris out of here and uh, hopefully getting to where they're rebuilding it back again soon. Definitely a lot of activity downtown. You know, that demolition process, which started just days after the fire, is slated to be complete by, by early spring. Tark, you brought us an interview with the president of this company a few weeks ago, and you were in contact with him again today. Were you able to gather when there might be the next step in this process? Yeah, everyone wants to know about reconstruction, and there are so many unanswered questions at this point, though. You know, the big one, of course, is the cause of the fire. And then there's another question, whether or not that concrete can be restored, whether or not the garage and the podium. There's also been a conversation about rebuilding with another material instead of using wood. But really, there's no substantial, um, I mean, anything that they can do that's been mapped out until that most important question is answered. And that question is, how did this fire start? And what a fire it was. Yes, it was. Thank you, Tarek.